Now, what is the difference between an idea for a movie and an idea for a screenplay? Uh, well, we've only had probably five ideas for a movie in our career because I think that's all that been made into a movie. Okay. Uh, we've had about 700 ideas for screenplays. So maybe it's a percentage thing. What do you, you think? You know, the, the, the screenplay is a document that's formatted in a particular way. Right. And so if I wake up in the morning and I say, oh, I had a dream last night, I think it would be a great idea for a movie. <laughs> and I start writing and I write for three days straight and I write 90 pages and I have character names sure. and there's dialogue and I can even have special effects. And my dream is in there. That's a screenplay. That's a screenplay. <laughs> um Making some sense of it, what that's about, what the themes are, how the characters grow from the beginning to the end. If yeah. I don't have that, I don't have a movie. And so uh, yeah. for us, that's really uh, the difference between writing a screenplay and writing a movie. And, you know, thinking, I think a lot of writers, when they start, they're inspired by things, as Dave was saying before, that have happened to them or feelings that they have that they want to get out. This is all very useful, good stuff to think about and write about. But uh, if you don't really figure out the full idea of the movie and the growth of the character and uh, what the theme of the movie is and the whole world that you're going to present in your story, then you do not have a movie. You may have a screenplay, but not a movie. And, and mind you, not, not every movie gets made into a movie, right? I mean, we have lots of screenplays that are movies that have never gotten made. But if you write one, even if it doesn't get made, it will help you tremendously in your career. Because the one thing that every development executive and director and manager and agent worth um, anything can do is identify a movie. They're good at it. People, you know, you, 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 you can't fool, you can't fool them. So it may not get made because I mean, this is a business. They cost a lot of money to make a movie, taste change, style change, whatever. Politics, yeah, sure. Politics, yeah. whatever. But if you've written a movie, it will help you. Now, so that's why it's a worthy goal. How many screenplays do you have between you in your career? <laughs> I, 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 there's a point to this. There's why a point to this. such an embarrassing question. <laughs> It's, I don't know, like a hundred probably. Right? Something like, something like. I mean, I, I think something that ridiculous. just <laughs> since, uh, <laughs> just since we turned professional in 1994, I think that they're probably around 70. Yeah. And then there's at least 15 that we wrote before we were professional. Right. Or more. Yeah. And then, you know, there's fragments of another dozen more that we never finished. Right. I don't know. It's an there embarrassing a, number. It's, it, well, it's not embarrassing. I don't look at it as an embarrassing because I, I asked the question for a specific reason because I think that so many screenwriters just show up <laughs> quitting graduate school, showing up to L.A., <laughs> and they have the one screenplay. And they they spent if they spent four years on that one screenplay, and yeah. they have everything on it. Where that is an amateur move. Where a professional, like you just said, was amazing. Like before we turned professional, we had fifteen screenplays. So you had the experience of going through that process fifteen times. I'm sure you learned a lot during that process to the point where when you turned professional, you probably added another fifteen or whatever before you started really. Yeah gaining them, but you need to go through that process. You need to kind of go through that. And that's something that most screenwriters, especially young screenwriters, they don't think of because they think that one idea, that's that's the one that's going to make them a billion dollars. And it's not that. It's a yeah. numbers game. Yeah. Well, it is, it is a numbers game. And it's also, you know, this is, we talk about it in the book, this is the Malcolm Gladwell 10,000 yeah. hours rule, yeah. Oh, yeah. right? This is, this is when you learn and how you learn your craft and you practice it and it's batting practice. You yeah. know, you don't step up to the plate and hit a home run in the major leagues <laughs> the right. first time you swing a bat. Right. You got to go through Little League, you got to go through the minors, you got to go through all the, all the steps before there are no shortcuts. Yeah. And even how the much geniuses, even yeah. the geniuses have to do it. You know, yeah, Michael, and, Michael Jordan practice and practice and practice until he became exactly. 
and exactly. he was and he was arguably much better than all three of us put together on on our best days. Uh, That's right. <laughs> it, it doesn't even compare to his worst day when he had 104 degree temperature and he still won the That's game. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what a, what we a once game. wrote a great scene when we had 104 degree temperature. <laughs> Amazing scene. <laughs> <laughs> 